What's up YouTube, it's Mr. Goldcut and this is my personal take on the mosaic virus question. First of all I want to thank you for, for commenting and inspiring me to, to do a short short video about the, the to tobacco mosaic virus and uh, what I know about it. I'm not a scientist, I'm not a doctor, professor or plant physiologist, biologist or anything like that. I'm just a gardener with uh, with my with my uh, experience on on the virus so i'm not gonna go too detailed into uh, scientific facts about the virus and um, i invite you all to google uh, do your own research on the issue because there's a lot of information out there on the virus and uh, yeah like i said uh, i don't want to i don't want to read all the wikipedia details on the virus um, just Google it like the normal questions you have uh, daily. Google it and you will find a lot of information about it. What I want to tell you about it is my personal experience with the tobacco mosaic virus on uh, mother plants and seed plants, seedlings. I've experienced uh, a lot of it. I've seen a lot of plants infested by the TMV or HMV <laughs> and uh, I've also seen plants right next to them that never had problems with it so there's definitely there are definitely strains who are immune to the virus and uh, don't suffer from it uh, how does it how does it spread it spreads through uh, the contact of infested plants the exchange of, of liquids from the plants like a cutted, uh, cutted clone. If you use a blade uh, from, use the blade on an infected, affected plant, and uh, use the same blend, uh, same blade on the next plant. Virus uh, got a new host, and in a time of two to three weeks, the first signs of mosaic virus will appear on your on your new host. So uh, it's, it also spreads through through uh, aphids and uh, all types of bugs that are sucking, sucking and pinching your plant. Um, it can also spread through soil, uh, leaves, in general plant matter, um, outside and inside, uh, so outdoors and indoors, it doesn't matter. So. Um, Think about reusing stuff if you maybe had signs of the virus because it's not, it's not the smartest idea to reuse uh, like containers and flooded tables uh, where you have had plants that uh, suffered from TMV. How does it look like? What, was it, what are the first signs? The first signs appear really early in. That's what I saw on a lot of plants that uh, they, they appear on the first few leaves, uh, really early in, on, on seedlings. And like, uh, I hope you can see it here. And on the smaller leaf here, you see um, yellowish, brighter spots and um, lines on the, on the leaf um, veins. And on this one, you see it's already, the half leaf is already curled up and it's gonna curl into one direction. And this bigger leaf here, you see, it's from the channel plus that we've selected a, a month ago. One of the phenotypes showed showed the uh, tobacco mosaic virus from from start, and this is uh, a bit of mature leaf. You can see uh, it curled up, and it's gonna curl up even more on one side. Um, how does the how does it how does it affect your your garden? I mean. It's, use common sense a healthy plant is better than an unhealthy plant it's very simple so if you have the same strains um, on one side uh, with TMV and on the other side without it uh, you will definitely not have the same performance uh, people can tell you whatever they want they will never perform the same uh, maybe on the first first look they look 
some of them can even look, uh, you know, they, they build up huge chunky buds. So I uh, saw a lot of uh, infected plants that uh, at the end were huge, huge and uh, everything was looking healthy, but still they had the virus. So um, I think the worst side effect of the virus is the spreading on your, on your garden, you know, spreading to maybe some other genetics that, were, that are healthy. So what to do about it? What can you do about it or against it? Work as clean as possible, uh, gloves, wash your hands, uh, wash your, uh, your, your workbench, keep it clean, maybe stainless steel would do a job to keep it clean. Use sanitizers, uh, use fresh blades. Every, every part of your production uh, line should be as clean as possible. Don't bring in plants from a source that we are not sure if he's working clean, if the per person is working clean. And uh, I mean, there is a big risk if you pick up several different strains from several different people. Uh, it, can, it can be that one of the plants has the virus and you uh, don't recognize it immediately. And after a few weeks, plow, there it is. And then you have a few aphids and the uh, aphids will spread the fucking virus through your whole garden. I have to say that I saw a lot more damage done by fertilizers, by spraying uh, agents, by overwatering, by all types of other stuff. I saw a lot more damage than done by the TMV. But still, uh, we should all be aware of that. Uh, we, that we should not spread the virus. You know, as soon as you see a infected plant, take it out. You know? It's not necessary, especially in a small garden. If you I understand uh, it's the same with me, you know, um, I'm, uh, I don't want to throw them away just because of, of this, because I know it's going to perform somehow, but it's not going to show the, uh, the, the, the whole potential of the plant because it is infected by a virus. That's, that's what it is, you know. Does it, is, is it harmful for you, for the, for the human consumption? Is there a risk? No, there's no reported risk whatsoever on on the virus ingested by human beings so I think the mildew is a lot more is a lot more dangerous or potritis uh, than uh, than the tobacco mosaic virus so my friends um, I hope uh, I answered some of the questions and uh, if you have any further questions um, I can continue on this issue um, it's not that I did a, a lot of homework on what I want to say, it's just a freestyle one take thing to let you know what uh, my personal experiences are with uh, the mosaic virus. So my friends, see you on the next issue. Cheers!